was drawn to the Votion booth because you have a sign that says, uh, MF, what does it say? MFI Licensed Manufacturing. And MFI stands for Made for iOS is the original term, but it basically means home kit compatibility. And a lot of companies have had trouble getting into this market. It sounds like Samuel Lau of Votion is uh, working on solving that problem for other manufacturers and for yourselves, right? Yes. Uh, we have two companies. One is called Active, which is the MFI licensee. Um, we help other companies um, ODM and OEM their products and, and allow them to, to um, work with the uh, HomeKit platform to integrate this part um, and submit their product plan so that they could um, get their products uh, uh, accepted and approved to the, to the Apple um, ecosystem. Okay, that's that's very good. So that's the active part of the company. Yes. And then what is Votion? Votion is our, our own brand. Um, we have a line of products that supports uh, various um, uh, voice-based systems now, you know, the, the big three, uh, HomeKit, Alexa, and Google Assistant. Um, for our, our, our lines of products, uh, we have the Wi-Fi based and the uh, Bluetooth based products. The Wi-Fi based products, we will include all three. And for Bluetooth part, it's, it's HomeKit only. Because oh, Alexa, interesting. Yeah, Alexa and Google Assistant don't have that extra step for the Bluetooth part. So um, we have a distinction. For battery based system, we use Bluetooth and the uh, AC power system, we have uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah, one of the nice things about being able to do it over Bluetooth is it's a lot faster in your house because it's not going up to the internet and coming back down like it does with yeah. Google and, and Alexa. And Bluetooth right? is good; it's that it, it saves a lot of power, so it's, it's all battery based. But the limitation that it, it, it doesn't have that extra step to, to link to the cloud. Okay, great. Well, let's walk across this wall here uh, to the audio listeners. We're standing against a wall where he's got a bunch of lift different devices. What do we got up here above here? Yeah, so we have a motion sensor and light sensor. This here is an IR um, sensor that could detect mo movement. Um, it also has a light sensor to detect if it's a, a, a daytime or nighttime. So we could trigger some smart in saying if it's nighttime, we will have an LED actually at the back to give you some light during the stairs or, or um, yeah, so you can have that. that well, sometimes picture. a night light just makes people exactly. happy. I know people like the Nest Protect thermos or uh, uh, smoke detectors because it gives you a night light. It seems yep. like a extra, funny thing. Yeah. That we want to throw so in. because that's HomeKit compatible, you could then create an automation yeah. that said when I sense motion, make exactly. take this other action, yeah. turn and, on and, a light. And you can set a timeout for like 10 seconds for the light to keep on uh, glowing until uh, I think you pass this area, then you can shut it down. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, now I'm going to get down on my knees here for a leak sensor. Yep, leak sensor is for uh, detecting water water uh, leakage. Like if there's a flood, you will be able to detect. Um, uh, oh, it's a flood. You can send a, talk, uh, a notification to the user saying that you may want to move the stuff. You know. Okay, so right. yeah. I might want that one of these next to my uh, water heater. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Just make, make sure that you, you don't have a lot of water uh, in the nearby area. Well, that would be a good thing. Okay. We, oh wait, a smart water valve. What are we yeah. doing here? So Speaking of water. Yeah, water. So you, you. This is uh, basically a valve to to open and close the water to go through. So if you have a sprinkler system attached to it, or even a uh, a tub that you want to fill, you will be able to do this remotely. So oh, really? Yeah. So open the water. Basically, it's letting the water in. In, in it's a gate to to let the water out and close it. So what do you, what do you hook this up to? To uh, a two, two, two. So like like this is, could be the um this could be the uh, your your tap, you know, and the tube to go out. Oh, interesting. Okay, what do we got down here? Uh, the soil, soil moisture. Must... Yeah, just to uh, detect the uh, fertil uh, fertility of the uh, soil to make sure that uh, uh, your 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 soil is uh, moist enough and you need to you don't need the watering. So you could you can link these two. So if if you, the the soil is too dry, you can add more water. So oh, neat, neat. So can, I like it. Look, add it like now we got a remote hub. So we're working on a remote hub to um, uh, simulate a uh, 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 remote control. So it, it, for a lot of um, for a lot of uh, con air conditionings, they doesn't have a, a, a smart in it. Oh. So it doubles up as a as a uh, remote control uh, device that you could uh, trigger remotely for okay. Wi-Fi. Okay. All right, and a smart light switch. Yeah, you gotta have switch. a smart light switch. Yep. Right? So light switch to, to turn on turn on the, the relay at the back to trigger. Could be lighting or, or even fans or anything um, AC. I like it. All right, an all-purpose button. Yeah. There we go. But it could be it could be linked to anything. So it, you could use it for a single click, double click, long click to assign it to various things that you want to happen. So you could say single click turn turn on the water valve. Okay. Oh, yeah. Or or double click. To, to, to turn on the light. I've heard that these are often useful in homes where somebody's a geek but somebody is not yeah, it, and they matter. just want to hit the switch yeah, to exactly. turn the light on or, and off. We can link it to a scene. So you could, uh, uh, a certain uh, keystroke would, would give you a, a, a certain uh, special scene to, to for the for your uh, environment. All right, we got two more down here. Smart electrical switch for the fuse box. Yeah, so instead of um, uh, for a light switch, you some user may want to put this at the fuse box area. So instead of the end point where the light is, you could put it in the fuse box area when the installer gets everything mapped out and at the back end. 
So, so you, you get your, 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 your house all mapped out. This region will be all based on this switch, switch so you can all work, work the wiring at the back end and get the same benefits out on, on the switch outside. So at the end of the day, you, you probably don't even need like switch at your rooms anymore because they're all done at the back end. Oh, that's an interesting solution. I haven't seen that. And a smart outlet. That's really pretty. Smart outlet, um, power outlets for and uh, to giving AC control for turning on uh, fans, uh, anything light, you know. Uh, and there's also metering inside so you can uh, get the power usage. Well, it looks like Votion has one of everything. How, yeah. how would people find out more about these products? Yeah, you can check us our, our website at www.votion.io. Votion.io, that's V-O-T-I-O-N. Thank you very much, Thank Samuel. You.